Hi guys, problems here. A Twitter it's burned from the ES80. Maybe I did something wrong, maybe it's a problem to all the speakers, but there are problems when you hit a big sound and a powerful sound of high frequencies of short intensity, like a source circuit of the speakers or something, or if you're putting your wires in the back and the amplifier has a lot of volume, a louder volume, it will burn first thing the tweeters. These are the most sensitive parts of the speaker. So the problem is now that uh, I want to make a tutorial and uh, change the tweeter. This is the high frequency tweeter that it's uh, it had been burned and we will change it with a new one. Ta -da! So where can you find these tweeters? Guys, I recommend you to buy them from the dealership from Harman Kardon because uh, I tried to uh, take a, a second hand because I didn't know how to find the, this tweeter and where to find it and uh, I found it on uh, the, the dealership new and at the half of price of uh, internet. So let's begin to change it. We have six screws here with a special key. You can use uh, this kind of key and unscrew these screws. Be very careful, it has magnets that will attract this key and I uh, uh, have to say that I uh, wrecked a Twitter from other speaker, one other or from a center speaker, because this key will uh, go exactly this is the powerful attraction I was talking about, magnetic attraction, and it flattened out that uh, sensitive uh, uh, part of the high Twitter. So let's begin. So let's take it out, gently take out. It has connectors, it's simple, it's not a difficult operation. It's uh, the Twitter above, the bottom is the normal Twitter and uh, and it has two screws there and this is it, it's very simple to change it. Let's begin. So now we are playing some music and I got to say guys that this Twitter you cannot hear it at all. Let's disconnect it and put the new Twitter. And be careful to respect, uh, but it, you will see the difference. This is bigger, this is bigger, and this is smaller. So you cannot go wrong. Bigger, smaller. You cannot go wrong. Just push inside, and this is it. And what a difference in sound! Whoa, it's very big difference. And uh, I have to say that I will go to the another speaker. To if I will go to the other speaker, the ultra highs are not that big. Yes, guys, if I'm putting my ear here, the left speaker has a weaker, I think this in time will go weak on the sound. It are not that, it's not that loud as the right one. So, for, so for sure I'm gonna change the ultra highs because this one are powerful, you can sense them. But I think in time these tweeters will lose their capacity. So guys, let's mount back the tweeter to the plate and the plate, the entire plate, to mount it back on the speaker. So we are finished. So guys, I'm right. I tested the right speaker, the new one, the new cone, and we will go to the old cone. I say cone to this uh, Twitter, and we'll go to the old one, and the sound is not that powerful. It's, um, I want to give you a percent. This is 13%, and the other one, this one, is 100%. This the difference is huge so it's really huge guys thank you for watching i hope you made an idea and uh, if you have these speakers for more than five years if you listen intensively uh, change it if you listen intensively for three years uh, change your uh, high res tweeters if your speakers work if all the drivers work it's imperative that you will change the high res tweeters so i hope you like this video and um, this hint I give you. If uh, this video was helpful, guys, please thumbs up and subscribe our button because we'll have a lot of videos. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day. See you. Bye.